It's very hot already. This is beautiful. This is awesome. I'm hot. Hi, everybody. I got up at about 6 o'clock this morning and had to take another migraine pill. But <clears throat> I have to go for blood work this today. Um, probably go in about what two hours yeah so I can't eat anything I just took my medicine with some water and uh, we could go earlier than that but Kevin's gonna watch a movie I'll probably fall back to sleep because I wasn't ready to get up yet but Mojo decided it was time for me to get up so Mojo's in front of the door Mojo doing the same thing Freckles is doing <laughs> They copy each other. Wow, you guys are funny. <laughs> oh! Except oh. Freckles coughs oh. when he does it. Oh! <laughs> you okay? You okay, big boy? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll just go back to doing it again. <laughs> well, we're on our way to the doctor's because Val needs to get her uh, some blood tests done and uh, she's starving and it's a uh, fasting blood test and it's is that the right time yes it's one o'clock it's 12 58 and I'm hungry she's hungry so she wants well, that's what you get for waking up so late well that's, uh, I don't uh, go uh, to sleep till late track. I don't go to sleep till late and we're not going to the doctors we're just going to the lab lab See what's on the slab. Yes, as long as I'm not on the slab. That was another movie reference. I wonder if anybody gets it. I know that one. So, yes, we are on our way to the lab. Through all this construction. <laughs> and then we got to get something to eat because I'm very, 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 very hungry. And I'm sure it's not good for my blood sugar to go this long without food. So, but we'll see what the fasting blood sugars are like and all the other tests that they're running on me because there's a lot. I wonder how many vials of blood they're going to take out of me today. I'll let you know. Can take it all. It's a very sunny day. Beautiful. No clouds in the sky. Oh, there's a little bit of clouds. See those little white things up there? Those are what we call clouds. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's hot. It's not beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. And it's really nice out. It's hot. It's hot and it's sunny. And I'm melting because it's so hot. You're in an air-conditioned truck. Yes. And if I wasn't in an air-conditioned truck, I'd be a miserable you-know-what. I'm not saying it because I don't want to put any money in the jar. So... This is the way to my doctor's appointments. Look at some of these houses. Look at this house. Isn't that, that house beautiful? Be yes, that one is supposed to be haunted. So, so, that was the circle, by the way, that Kevin was talking about. We were just, just on, on the, the circle. circle. Yeah. And now we are coming up on Kaiser Corona, which is where I am going to go get my lab work done. There's many Kaisers. We got Kaiser Corona, Kaiser Riverside, which are the two main places I go to. My foot surgery was done in Kaiser Merino Valley, which I go to for my feet checkups. And my shoulder surgery is going to be done in Ontario, Kaiser Ontario, which, um, yeah. And I don't know exactly where my gastro bypack bypass is going to be done but I think it's down in um, Lake Elsinore or Menifee or something like that so 
Here we are. Looks like it's pretty empty. Except for the slow moving vehicles. Stopping traffic. Hello. Hello. I'm going to watch American Idol while you are gone. <coughs> okay. Where are you going? Out. Out and about. Out. And about. And about. You're not going to follow the instructions on your shirt, are you? <laughs> I'm really good at that. <laughs> are you going to follow the instructions on yours? Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm really good at that. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> what you doing? So we're having our dinner. Pizza. Yeah. Which Val should not be having. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, well. I'm doing a lot of things I shouldn't be doing right now, but. That's life. Yep. But what kind of pizza is it? Red Baron? Mm hmm. Red Baron, and Kevin adds stuff to it, so. It looks yummy. Mm hmm. Yes. And we're watching, what is it, Max Payne? Yeah, which I've never seen before. Actually, never even heard of it. You know, you don't have to sit on the cat. The cat's sitting on me. It looks like his leg is underneath you. Boomer, is he sitting on you? Boomer? Boomer? Boomer doesn't even care. What are you doing over here, Mr. Freckles? Freckles? See his tail? Every time I say his name, his tail goes. Freckles? Freckles! We're gonna tell! Freckles! 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 <laughs> You're weird. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Boomer Show. Boom, 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 boom. Right, boom, boom. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's time for neighborhood community shout outs. Yeah. Rebecca Ann started a beauty channel, but it is more than just a beauty channel. It is called Head Strong Beauty Movement. It does not only have beauty tips, it has yoga, smoothies. I can't think of this word. Etiquette tips? Etiquette tips, thank you. She, she doesn't have any of that. No, I don't. Um, closet essentials, giveaways, and much, much more. So, make sure you guys all go over and subscribe. Again, it's called Head Strong Beauty Movement. Got it right, Rebecca. Go check it all out, everybody. Robocop New Spyro the Dragon. Huh has 50 subs, she wants to get to 60. So go on over and show her some love. Destiny Swan, welcome to the neighborhood. Fuzzy Nuts, welcome back to the neighborhood. Beats and Sounds non-copyright music, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Jessica C.T. Hey, we missed your birthday yesterday. Yeah, we forgot to say it yesterday, so, but today is her birthday, so happy birthday today, Jessica C.T. I hope you had a great birthday. Anonymous Cato, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Did you have to read that part? <laughs> no, I thought I saw something else on my book and totally went, Phew! <laughs> Okay, so since I messed that one up, I'm going to do it again because it's not fair. 
Anonymous Cato. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Our twin life. Welcome to the neighborhood. They came over from Mom's Vlog 80. Thumbs up to you guys. Robert Wright. Shout out to you. And he cannot believe it's the first day of spring where he, well, it's the first day of spring. And where he lives, there's still snow on the ground. Still snow. It's in the 80s here. Yeah. It's like summer. Yeah. We're running our air conditioner. And it's still running. It's, it's like uh, 9 o'clock at night and the AC is still kicking in. Anyway. Um, anyway. I'm trying to think who it was. Um, someone asked me who Elijah was in our Elijah is our superhero um, video that we put up that Christopher Trade Show put together and, and collaborated with everybody on. And for anybody who does not know who Elijah is, please, please, please go to Mom's Vlog 80 and check out her videos. It'll tell you who Elijah is what his entire story is, and why he is our superhero. So go over, check them out, give them a thumbs up, hit the little red subscribe button, donate, purchase a shirt, show them some love. They're an awesome family. So that's all the shout outs that I have. It's all. That's all. It's all we got. It's all I got. <laughs> having a rough day guys don't mind me okay so my question from yesterday was if you had a time machine where in your life would you go back and visit and your answer would be I don't think I'd want to visit anything in my life again <laughs> there are a few people that had that answer Jessica CT said that she doesn't want to she has too many dreams to look forward to so why go back other people didn't want to go back because there were too many bad memories a lot of people, like myself, said they want to go back to visit loved ones before they passed away. And yeah, I would do that too. My sister passed away and I would love to go back and relive and have some good times with my sister before she passed away. So, a lot of, lot of good answers to that one. And uh, Tanya Longley <laughs> wants to go back to her 20s when we used to go out and dance and party all night long and have some fun. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do that I now. I don't want to do that anymore either. <laughs> I can't do that now. That was a very painful time in my life. A lot of hangovers. <laughs> so, my question for tonight is, if you could create any holiday, what holiday would you create and why? I can see your little gears turning trying to figure out a holiday right now. As long as I don't have to work, I think. <laughs> Be any holiday you want. <laughs> it is time for neighborhood community. Pink book. <laughs> Make fun of my pink book. Time for neighborhood community credit roll. So the question was about warm bodies. What movie or what story was that loosely based on? And uh, that was Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. In fact, that. The female character was named Julie, the, the zombie was named R, I do believe, and they had other guys like Marcus, that, that, that all the names sound, uh, were actually derived from, from uh, Romeo, and, Romeo Julia. and Julia. So, and, so the people who got that was Tanya Longley was number one, number two was Terry Johnson, number three was Greg Myers, number four was Bambias. Okay, and so today's uh, trivia question is about a Rocky Horror Picture Show 1975, for those of you who remember that far back. Time! Okay, so the, set, the question is simple. What uh, what, build, what do they use for Frankenfurter's castle? Oh, I don't know that. Well, you should. I don't know that. And... And also, for those of you who actually lived through that, um, and you've been to the midnight viewings, which I'm heard are still playing. They in some are. Places, they are. Um, 
What did you bring with you when you went to the midnight? What were the, the props that you brought with? What did you throw around? There you have it, your double question. Well, you know, it's for those tonight. of you who've been, who've been to the, the midnight show. One's not, a, one's not a trivia, one's just a fun type of question. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors PIN, Megan's Arts and Crafts, Megan's Society 6 store, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.